Well, hello everybody, and welcome to another week of Adventures of Yanderhal. Uh, probably last time you we left, fought a big swamp creature or big creature thing, and we had a scuffle. And I think we stopped it before the scuffle ended, so. I believe it's still Midori's turn. If you haven't watched it, we just put the last episode, the most recent episode, up this past week, so go watch it. It's a doozy. Hey. So do, do you introduce us? Oh, um, playing the character of Midori is Robot Adventures. Say hello. Hey. Uh, playing. Hmm? I said, yeah, man. Hmm? Playing the character of Dagon is Zavik. Say hello. I didn't say that. Okay. Yeah, I ruined your joke. What? Uh, playing the character of Sariel, our cleric, is Arlie. Hey. And playing the muscular, daring, courageous, um, other great work. <laughs> Barf. <laughs> uh, Erk Talk, the barbarian, which is me. Simply understand. Way to sell yourself up there, Dayo. <laughs> um, and our our DM, who is lovely, caring. Gives Very us balanced. so much stuff. Uh, Tavak. I probably give you way too much stuff. I should cut back on that. Nonsense. I should punish you more. Nonsense. But so we have, I think the last thing is, was Erg Talk and Dagon standing over Midori. And I think Ren was trying, Ren, uh, Mermond and Bren were trying to convince us not to attack uh, Midori after Midori attacked the party and the monster we were fighting. And unfortunately, Sariel has been stunned, but I think that's now... She's unstunned by now. Okay. Now, okay. So she's unstunned by now. And what's what's the what's the order of um? Do you know the order? No, I didn't save the order. I think it's still your turn because I think the when we stopped, you were yeah, but you know thinking about. Me, like that. Says at this um, point, you guys are out of combat, so you, there's really no order set. Okay. All right. So I, if it's well, if there's no order, then. Um, I'll, I'll turn to Arlie and, and say, Arlie, or not, you're not Arlie, you're Sariel. Yes. Sariel, take a look at how the party has been treating me, and do you think this is, this is just? Do you mean right now where they attacked you after you almost killed me? Uh, I mean, uh, since, uh, the beginning when, uh, the, what's his name? The barbarian, Urtok. Uh, Urtok. Since yeah, Urtok tried to attack me, and no one came to my defense. No what? one's doing anything. When did or he do that? When you tried to pickpocket an orb into my satchel, when we were trying to figure uh, out. Uh, okay, well that wasn't. What is uh, even going on, guys? What are you doing? <laughs> that was uh, trying to get the orb out of the out of the room. So. So what so, I'm hearing is you guys have been picking on each other and doing stuff to each other, and one of you got pissed off. Oh yeah, when when and almost uh, killed me. Well, I was trying to kill the monster too. So. <laughs> yeah, but you almost killed me, not the uh, monster. That, that was an accident, you see. Okay. So I, I, I chime that. in and go. Notice how I help kill the monster without killing you. How but about the two of you leave each other alone, don't mess with each other, and don't kill your party members? How about that? Uh, right, since we're out of combat, I kind of walk 
since I think Bren's over there. I, since I still don't like Bren, I'm going to kind of like brush through him and go, it's your decision. It's, it's your kill. If you want to let it, if you want to let Midori live. Who are you telling that to? Just the whole party Bren. as I brush through oh. Bren. Oh, okay. I thought you were going up to Bren and telling him, and I was like, I'm really no. confused. Yeah, that now. confused me too because I'm like, sorry, my bad. Bren, I, I kind of just Mama did it to telling you guys to stop. Well, I kind of just did it to add insult to injury to Bren because I don't like Bren. Bren's cool. <laughs> okay. Bren's, yeah. Bren's Bren all right, dude. I want to loot the thing we killed. Oh, we haven't looted it yet. <laughs> I like money. Hopefully our benevolent DM, who is super awesome, has something in store that's very nice. Candy. <laughs> I was right. rolling yeah, my eyes. I actually found the. I did save the initiative orders. So if I remember correctly, I think it was Midori was last up, and then I think it went to me. But yeah, it was Robot U, then Arlie, then Dagon, then Merman, Bryn, and Red. But well, it's all resolved now, so. Well, at least the there's still the whole thing of attacking people. Try to attack each other. Don't mess with each other. How about that? Mess with me so I can steal your gold out of your pocket when you don't even know. If only I can hold you up by your ankles when I catch you. Okay, you guys are looting everything. That big thingy we killed. I think it's over here where I'm standing. Yeah, I think it's right by where Sorry, I was stunned. Yeah. And for people that know, Sorry, right. is the green dot. Uh, I think Dagon's like the grayish dot that's currently by the green dot. He's I'm yellow. Light blue. Light blue, sorry. Uh, I think Bren is the dark Bren red is or brown, brown, orange okay. is merman, and the dark green is Bren. And the red one's Midori. Do we have any idea how much we need to do here before we can leave this awful place? I mean, we're at the end, right? What is a triangle? Oh. Uh, that was uh, that was the weapon. Oh no, yeah. that's serial that sacred Sarius. weapon. Yeah. It's uh, it's Ren's hat. He got it from the boss. It's a party hat. What's it mean when it says you can break the curse in unusual ways? Rise, sing to it. Unusual way is. Cold dance. You don't know. <laughs> Lick it. Right, so I was just thinking, I don't know about you guys, but I'm almost tapped out for what I can do. Yeah, I could probably use a we rest. We definitely though. need a rest, for sure. Well, like, I know we cleared all, basically, this is the bottom floor. We cleared all the way down. We still technically have to go up depending on how high that is. I mean, this room only has one entrance. Do we want to rest here? Or at least one that we know of, but... I think that's probably a good idea. So we're going to sleep in the room with the... with the... burned-in uh, star pattern on the ground. <laughs> what could go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing that could go wrong with this plan. What are you talking about? It's the best plan. <laughs> Next thing you'll be like, I'm just, I'm going to, this altar in the center here, I'm just going to make that my bed, you know, and sleep right next to this dagger. Can I sleep in stealth? <laughs> um, you guys do know it's only like midday now. Yeah, but we're saying that, like, we've all used all of our stuff and we want to, like, 
get health back and stuff like that too. So yeah, team killing takes a lot out of you. Yeah. So you gotta take a short rest. You can't really take a long rest and sleep. You can't take a long rest and sleep. What? So what does, day. Guys, what does short hard. rest give us? Hey. I can meditate for my my elfiness anytime I decide to. <laughs> what does short rest give us? Short rest, you can use hit dice to yeah. restore your health. But you don't get spells or abilities back or anything like that? I mean, I guess if that's our only option, we may as well do it to get some health back and then... Go back up and hope we don't run into anything. I don't feel like in D &D, I don't think we have any other options. Decide to I only do a one. long rest anytime you want to. But if you want to say we can't, that's fine. We don't want to mess up our internal clock. Yeah, I don't need to sleep, so crazy non -elf I mean, people. I still got twenty eight hit points. I'm I'm still in. Decent shape, but yeah, I mean, I held, I healed up, so I'm not bad off there. But like, I, I have no healing spells left. I have like weak things left. That's it. So, depending oh, on stunned. how you tough were stunned for stuff a good we portion of that time. <laughs> I used things before I was stunned. <laughs> We've been fighting the whole way. Well, Midori needs help big time. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, oh, I can actually. I do have some healing spells left. Have you used your hit dice? I've only got one left, <coughs> and yeah, oh. it's only at eight. So leave you're me. at eight health. No, three. I'm okay. at seventeen, so I'm not terrible. Go ahead and use your last hit dice, and then I'll use one of my healing spells for you. And bef I don't know if it counts or if you still have it. You also have that. Can't you do like a song or something that helps your hit dice? Or is that only during a long rest? Short That's rest, a short I rest. Think. Oh, okay. Well, I, I just remember you did it last time. That could help you with your hit points. Do either of you have the spell banishment? No. Awesome. Incredibly random. Didn't she say I could only do it once per something, day or something? No, you can only use as many hit dice as you have no, total. The, the so barbaric so inspiration or something? Oh, the song thing? Mm, I don't know. Oh, song of rest happens anytime you take a, a short rest. You can use it. Your bardic inspiration dice, you can only use a number equal to, I believe, your charisma modifier a day. That's Which the I don't thing. think you have been using at all. Yeah, I think that's the thing where you play to give somebody extra, uh, an extra die on a roll or something. Any ability check, saving throw, or attack roll, I believe. So we're taking a short rest? Yeah. All right, so I'll roll my hit dice. How much do I get from the short rest? Do I get anything just from the rest? No. Yeah, so then you use uh, song of rest, you roll a 1d6. That's everybody in the party gets it. So are we right, doing so a short rest then, or what's the... Yeah, so I guess I yeah, rolled we're doing uh, rest. two fives, so I get, now I'm at 13 hit points. What's your max? 26. Okay. Um, hold on. i use a cure wounds on you. Give me a sec. Cure wounds. So what do I, do I do anything for that? No, I'll tell you how much to add in a second. I must be missing it on my sheet. Um, actually, what? 
my my uh barbarian rage thing that resets during long rest, right? I think so. That sounds I'm pretty right. Sure, I'm trying to see. Like, I swore I had it written down somewhere. I'm just trying to. Robot, add seven more health back. In his yeah, it's thing. Long rests. Okay, long rest. In his thing, uh, you said one d six. Do we need to apply that even if we don't use a hit die, or do we have to use a? Um. That's a good question, Dale. I wouldn't mind, you know, possibility of six more hit points. I'm not gonna. Unless he's mad at me and told me to plug my ears so I don't hear the song. <laughs> yeah, you have to spend a hit dice. The, the song okay. was about uh, uh, smelly barbarians or something. Oh, it's making me homesick. I feel like I should get an inspiration die. You know, if I'm remembering the hills of Baraktol. It doesn't around. say in here like when you expend a hit die, you get an extra. It just says you regain hit points um, at the end of your short rest, and you get an extra or whatever. But I guess the implication is you have to use hit die. They just worded it. Really you gain weird. an extra whatever. What is it? Gain? Oh, you mean the the number on the hit dice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so I used all three now. So I'm out of hit dice and out of magic. That's fine. It just means that after another fight, we're probably going to need to actually really rest. I have to walk around and knock you guys out to make you sleep. I will. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Sarah's going to go around dealing non-lethal combat damage. Yep. <laughs> you go to sleep, and you go to sleep, and you go to sleep. <laughs> When did she learn the Vulcan death pinch? <laughs> I do have pointy ears, you know. She's the <laughs> Oprah of naps. <laughs> All right. Oh, did we ever loot the thing? No, you haven't. Somebody roll an investigation check. Fifteen. I got a fifteen too. All right, you guys search around 18. the room. <laughs> Only managed to find fungi, corpses, and the only thing that you find is like, as you're looking at the big giant monster, you're kind of peeling away pieces of flesh and stuff, and you notice there's a circlet made of, like, twining vines. Kind of, like, half embedded in the creature's skull. Ew. Sounds gross. Does it give night vision? You don't know. And by now, your spirit's weapon will have dissipated. Oh, yeah. I let it go. Um, don't put it on your head to find oh. out what it does. <laughs> I was so thinking that, too. Do not do that. I was about to be like, well, this is about to get interesting. <laughs> no. It takes control of your body. I, I my character starts to lift it up and just l looks at Sario and she's just like, mm -mm. Uh -huh. don't do it. Um, you can ask uh, our mage friend if he can identify it since he identified things before. I was gonna do a different strategy. I was actually gonna try to put it on his head, but that probably Let's works. Let's not right. do that. <laughs> okay. Hey. Now the yeah, I was going to say, is that your Fawn's impersonation? <laughs> yeah, I just, I just find a spot on that circlet. I just find a spot on that circlet and just hit it with my fist. Does it identify then? 
No, you actually managed to hit like one of the little thorny like branches that come off of it right in between the knuckles. Ow. Oh, whoa. All right, uh, I hand it to what's Bird Talk? My, well, first make a, a strength check to pull it out of the corpse because it's oh. still embedded in that. Come on, let me be the Whatever chosen the one. Was, the head was originally like a human size and it's been malformed and like grew like a tumor around the circle. Ugh. Maybe you should I... just leave it there. Oh, but I got 19. All right, it's fine. I mean, I already rolled. I'm ripping it out. It's too late. Yeah. With a sickening, like, squelching sound, you managed to Ooh. tear it I'm off. I'm just like, ugh. Oh, yeah, say, there's, was there's some rotting in the brain sand? matter, like, goo just, like, dripping out. And after okay. it makes that sickening, squelching sound, I look at it and go, Welcome to Earth. Earth? <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't, like, wrap me in vines or anything as I'm holding it, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, then I start to bring it over to Merman. That's it. Um, Good job. I would get there eventually. And I go, so, uh, have you ever seen one of these before? He just glares at you more. <laughs> no. And unfortunately, I'm tapped out on identifying spells today. All right. So let's put it in a bag and we'll keep it for later. Uh, right. Not it for bag space. So how much do I actually have? Because it might start to be getting a bit ridiculous. It's just too gross for me to have, so... <laughs> I, I think I still have the orb. I don't know how of a good idea it is to... Mix magical objects? Yeah, that we don't know what they do. What could go wrong? Like this could the the orbs could be like completing the well, you know crowns like gems. Was. Oh yeah, yeah, but something. we don't know like the full extent of everything that's possible with the orb. It could yes, you do. It could... You had Merman identify it. Yes, but that doesn't mean he knew everything that's possible. He didn't create it. It's magical. Things could be crazy. Yeah, if he's such a great and powerful wizard, why is he all the way out here? <laughs> oh, Merman, the great and powerful. Yeah. You also know why he's out here, too. <laughs> yeah, but he was he was sent out on the outskirts of like a outpost civilization. If he if he was a Gandalf, he'd be up in a castle, like slaying some, you know, like figuring out some dragon stuff. Gandalf never slew any dragons. Yeah, but he would have. He he's that kind of a guy. <laughs> I'm talking about Gandalf the White. Keep Gray would have just been chilling back there. The whole day. <laughs> what is he confused? He's like, who's this Gandalf guy? He's a lot better than you are. God. <laughs> Gargamel's better. Fair point. Merman turns him in worry. What is this idiot babbling about now? Anyways, how about we give it to Dagon to hold on to so we don't mix <coughs> magical objects? How about that? So, seems like it's either going to Dagon or Midori. Who wants the brain-encrusted crown of magicness that we don't know it's magicness? Does it have any writing on it? Can you see? I can read I that. It, isn't it like a <laughs> crown of thorns? Yeah. Well, no, it's it's branches. The thorny part was like a, just a branch that comes off of it. Oh, okay. But it, it was like a really tiny one. There's no leaves on them or anything. So it's a crown of thorns? <laughs> it's It's like woven branches, basically. And that's a magical item? That we don't know it's magical. We're assuming. <laughs> it could just be a random, like, 
branch crown somebody made this guy because they loved him or some shit. And Who knows? I can identify it by putting it on my head. You could have been like, I'm a pretty princess. Can I identify it by putting it on my head? I think that's a bad plan. But it's a plan. Bad one. Can you, can you, are you touching it? or? I am holding it in my hand. So. Well, put it in a bag or something. We could take it out of here. That's what we've been talking about. And I was saying Dagon should take it because he doesn't have like current like magic well, does... artifact things in his bag. Well, he does have his sword. What's he carrying his sword in the bag? I don't know. I don't know his... Wait, is... I don't know. Dagon, take the stupid crown, right. put it in your bag, please. <laughs> is it worth something? It's no. branches in a crown. Like <laughs> No, especially if it has night vision. <laughs> well, if he wants it, I'll take it. Thank you. So I have crown made of branches. Yeah, don't put it on your head. Yeah, a woven branch, like, circle it. Not really a crown. Circlets and crowns are the same thing. I just wanted to know what to write down so I have Headband. it, that I have it. Headband? <laughs> Got one of those 80s headbands. Yeah, on, you that's know. exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. All right. So we got loot. Let's continue on this awful, horrible place that I hate. Well, we only have one way to go now. Back yeah. up. Hey. Can we just say we went all the way back up to the same point? <laughs> like, well, uh, assuming we don't run into anything else yeah, awful on the way. True. Are we gonna but we kind of did a, like a sweep of every floor. Things could have hurt us and come down from the upper force. Very true. Anyways. Okay. Just DM, up? can okay. you take us as far as we can go? <laughs> Unless it's ground f the ground Link floor. to the map. You guys make it all the way back to the ground floor. It's a miracle. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long I forgot what this floor looked like. Wait, am I the dark green or the bright green? I don't remember. I think you're bright. Okay. You're bright. Ren is dark. Okay. I changed colors on the way up. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, fixed. It's the light. It's dark. <laughs> I got a tan or something. <laughs> Underground, you got a tan. It was all the fire I was throwing away at Sinja. There's rumors of that uh, shadow tanning, right? <laughs> All right. Anyways, you're the you're the rogue leader. Search things. Let's go. Let's get out of this awful place. I mean, go up. Are we heading back? Are we going upstairs? Yes. There's an up. Oh. <laughs> um. Interesting. Can am I able to stealth with them standing here, or you can. <laughs> I'm just going to point at him the whole time. <laughs> I see you. I see you. I see you. Can I flick them off as I'm going stuff? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> all right, yeah, I'm flicking them off. We're all punch struck. There was something in the air down and there. And I got 11, 6, 17. You know, can you stealthily walk up the stairs, and as you get to the landing, you turn, you are faced with a collapsed wall, pretty much. It's just rubble, floor to ceiling. It doesn't seem like you can get past. Hmm. You went that way first. <laughs> so, all right, well then, I guess I'm going to go back down and say, uh, looks like it's impassable, guys. 
I go, oh. nonsense. I learned something from another world. I have a foot key. You're welcome to try there, buddy. I'm kidding. It's a Guild Wars 2 reference, everyone. Good job. Yay. Anyway. I think we've seen all we could see in this place. You know there's a Holiday Inn and up behind those boulders that we could sleep in. Um. Well, since we can't go up anymore, it means it's probably unstable, so thank God you guys can go. Yay! Let's leave. Quickly. Don't look back. <laughs> Forget this place ever happened. <laughs> this place is gross and bad things happened here. Let's leave. What happens in the evil tower stays in the evil tower. Norman will walk out of the tower. Bryn will give you all a nod and leave as well. Yeah, and then Bryn will say, it was a pleasure having your help today. And safe travels on the way back. Thank you, Ren, and good luck with your, with your crew. You guys don't want to head back with us, so you're safe? I want to head back with Bryn. <laughs> well, what are we going to do here? Doing some more scouting around before we head back. Oh, okay. Do you need some help? <laughs> no, we should be fine. So we... We've scouted this castle thing, and um, now we what need to report back to the to the mayor of the city. Well, I mean, our only task was to find Mermond so he could identify the orb, and he wanted us to help him, so he could. I so we helped him so he would identify the orb. What was the orb again? It was like forever ago. From the goblin's um, house. It is... I have one blue glowing orb, palm-sized orb of teleportation. Allows the user to teleport to any of the other orbs or to an attuned location. The orb cannot be used again for seven days. To, atto to attune the orbs to a location, each orb must be present at the location and be used in a ritual each day for seven days. The orbs must be placed at each point of a seven-pointed star. Oh, wait, what was that last place? <laughs> uh, with the lines drawn out in white sand when a series of runes must be drawn in the center of the star in blood. Uh. Wait, so I have a teleport. See you guys. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, then do we need to go back and get the rest of them and try putting them on this star? Or? Yeah, but that's just going to teleport us from there to here. I think the guy used one of them when he got away, didn't he? So they should already be attuned. When the guy got a, No, I thought they well, just... Well, he might no, have had an orb. But. Yeah, well, I thought we followed a guy to that room, and then when we got there, the guy wasn't there. And then there were shadow yeah, things. I, it is orbs. incredibly too far to... Like, I don't remember... I. I thought we fought something down there, but I... Well, we fought, fought shadow things. You yeah. yeah. You fought the shadows that were in there. There was a gargoyle as well that was behind the, the, the counter that had all seven orbs on it. Yeah, and I smashed him in the head with two orbs, and that hurt. Yeah, but you also had... We were following the goblin with javelin in its gut. That's right, he's got my javelin. No, you got it back, remember, because you killed him. Oh. Because he went and got his... He waited because you guys slept in the secret room that you guys had found with the... Um, with the super armor that we were going to put Arlie the in. The ghast. Yes, you also shoved Arlie into a coffin. Hmm. See? See? Uh, I'm sensing was for a theme in this group. That was for your yeah. protection. No. That's because he's a dumbass. You also tried to throw a Midori in the, the, the coffee yeah. as well. Yeah. See? For your protection. 
I think I should just leave. But then, remember, all you also got a javelin to the back yeah. when you guys were trying to leave. Yeah. Wow, if you were in a stone sarcophagus, that probably wouldn't have happened. Oh my god. So that has been your recap of everything that's happened so far in this game. Well, okay. for the most part. So, my I want to make friends with this, the town mayor, so that's my interest. I want to make ties with this city so they can support me and I can support them for my home country. But um, that's, I, I don't know about uh, if, the, if the mayor needs some help with something else, I'll do that, but if uh, we're trying to solve a mystery, then... Well, I was going to say, it'd probably be best to go back and talk to him. I mean, the, or, the place where the orbs were were right near that town, ta- like, you know... So probably couldn't yeah. hurt to go back to the town and tell them, you know, we helped we helped Marmaduke, you know. Ren was a bit of a jerk. Ren, Ren he needs a raise. But, yeah, probably a good bet to head, at least head back to that town, but... What are um, your motivations for money? I think Dagon is money, right? Yep. <laughs> I kill people. Harley's, take Harley's just being helpful, I think. Charity, but yeah. I'm just on my own for the first time, and I'm trying to find my place. I feel like I need to write a Oh, you're song. like a little teenager who's out for a day trip. <laughs> That's a hard pee-pee. <laughs> you're just so precious. That That's a weird juxtaposition of lines that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's so yeah. small and cute. <laughs> but I was going to say, I guess we're going to ideally head back to town, but I know we traversed a lot of ground. I don't know if we get caught How up How about by we not go back through spider hell on our way to town? How about we oh, avoid come that? On. <laughs> the only thing we left was that giant spider. He ain't going to fit in that hole. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Hmm. My, my character's going to have a terror of spiders now, forever. Okay, so what are you guys doing? Uh, can we look at a map to possibly find a safer way back than going through a spider, spider at least forest? At what would seem safer. Yes. Yeah, we don't know that it's safer. Well, we don't now, since you told the DM to tell us not. That was <laughs> stupid. The DM didn't know that at all. <laughs> he didn't hear me say that. Well, there's the world map that you guys kind of have, or know of. But yeah, pretty much you gotta go through the spider forest to get back to town. Can we just go to the next town? <laughs> Well, isn't everything back there? I mean... Things can be replaced. Uh, I mean... To be fair... Does it say... It, like, the orb never said it had a limit of how many people could teleport. It's one person. Right. Can I quickly drop it after I gra- like activate it? No, okay, that's seven orb... days. Yeah, uh, it's once per seven days. It's one creature, and the orb goes with you. Ugh. I guess we're walking through Spiderland. Let's do it. Uh, how about we wait for night and camp here and walk through Spiderland after yeah, we're we might want 100%. Night. Yeah. Yeah, we spend the rest of the night until it's dark trying to find a different way home. <laughs> but we're like, nope, <laughs> this isn't going to work. All right, so let's uh, let's uh, build a, some Minecraft walls around us and go to sleep. <laughs> well, we do have a cleared out, like, fort thing right behind yeah, us. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's just make, sure, just make sure it's safe, secure, and then we can have a rest. Are those beds in those rooms? I call one of those if it's a bed. 
Uh, on the ground floors, no. There was no beds. I'll say go for it. There was broken tables and chairs. There was that chest with the dead body in it. There was a desk. And then there was some other tables and bookcases and stuff, but they were all like covered in lichen and fungi and a, stuff. Is that a comfy so. chair at that big desk? It was at one point in time. Oh, crap. I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm going in the room with the desk and whatnot, because I remember that one didn't have fungus in it. I'll sleep on the floor if I have to, just not in fungus. Roll out your bedroll. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to be anywhere where there's fungus. I'm sleeping on his table. That one was covered in fungi. <laughs> I'm alright. I like fungi. He's gonna wake up in the morning wrapped up in fungus. I mean, you do Shut have the up. you do have the chocolate of vines. Up. Shut! Don't give him ideas. <laughs> is is the hallway covered in fungus? Yep, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much the that whole ground be- floor is like covered in fungi and stuff and there, I guess. Yeah, I think. What's outside? Or What's outside like? <laughs> okay, so scrub Spiders. grass, dirt. Some trees in the back, but they're all like really short and gnarly. Yeah, how was the uh, the how was B one? <laughs> well, let's just go back to the bottom floor with the scary circle. Okay, I'll okay. go down a flight of stairs <laughs> if it's less fungy. Well, I thought you uh, said was... like the first two rooms on the inside were didn't have fungus. Didn't I, like, burn away all the fungus in one of the areas? Yeah, yeah. in, in the, the southwest corner of the hallway. Area. I'm going to go there. It yeah, smells too. really, <laughs> like, rancid, because it's burning, decaying stuff with yeah. zombies. Damn it. Do I have any perfume in my diplomat's bag? I don't think so. I don't know, do you? <laughs> I've got some flasks of oil, oil lamp. I can use that oil lamp to to uh, help burn off some of the stink. I got some soap. No, I do have a vial of perfume. All right. Wow, that's surprising. I'm a diplomat's pack. Guess diplomats right. have to smell good. I don't know. Right? So well, I'm gonna go over there with Arlie in this, in the, and then try to freshen up the place. Cause I'm a pretty girl. Okay, so you're gonna spray some perfume around. Just uh, not a, like just a spritzing. Just, oh, you know, hopefully you know. it doesn't meld with the rancid smell to make any. That's all it does is meld it. And just it just <laughs> kind of like you get this. Smell of burnt, rotting flesh with like a little hint of like something flowery. Like. <laughs> Daffodils. <laughs> yep, that's anybody, no good. Does anybody have a pack of Febreze in their thing? Because that, that's an odor killer. While you guys are all doing this, like, Bren Bren and Merman are like, they've gone back to their camp. Oh, they had uh, a camp? You think they'll let us bunk? Maybe yeah, but we don't know. We didn't know that he went back to the song camp. To him. Bunk with me song? What? <laughs> From the uh, Simpsons. <laughs> with Laureline or whatever. Uh, it was really funny. Well, since it sounds like you're the one that knows it, it's all you. I'm not the bard, though. That's not a real world. <laughs> Anyways, yes, let's go to the camp and ask him if we can camp out with them. Did we know that they had a camp? Yeah, Yeah, we walked up to him and took a fireball to the face. Oh, I wasn't there. No, you were there. You took damage. You weren't there for that session, though. I should have been. I was like, hey, why don't we talk to them first? No, 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 no. No, oh, there was what? no chance to talk to them. We were walking up, and he threw a fireball at us. Like, there was no chance to be like, hey, or anything else. Because oh, yeah, they were hidden. They saw you guys coming. 
Yeah. And you guys decided, let's sneak up on the camp. We didn't know who was there or who they were. Yeah, we were like... That's why you guys took a fireball to the face. I know, we were, I'm we just walked saying. Up, walked up and we were like, who dis? New phone. Oh my okay, God. why was I with them while they were walking up? I should have been like behind something. You weren't there for the session, so I just that, made you go with a them. A dumbass? Okay, thanks. <laughs> you, you were in the back, but yeah. Okay. It, we still got You got everybody. It's Merman, man. It's an area effect. Okay, we start walking towards our camp a little bit later. Okay, this it's... one, I'm walking way behind, and I'm, I'm going, shh, 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 hey, we're walking here or something. We're the good guys. You just no saw problem. us like five minutes ago, man. Well, how long has it been since we feng shui the corner it's about of the like room? 20 minutes that you guys have been going. I know, okay. I was oh, exactly. the ground floor. I hope it's not the hardware here, or uh, oh, maybe the hallway will be a better idea. So it's been about twenty minutes. That's why they've walked off. <laughs> so we're not sleeping here. No, I <laughs> like how you're on a on a table. That's the table I was sleeping on. I'm half asleep already. <laughs> <laughs> As we start to walk up, I'm gonna be like, I can't wait to see his face. But watch this, Merman, my man. Merman sitting Funny. at the campfire. Like, about time you guys showed up. Well, we were we were testing to see if the the tower thing was had livable conditions. We're here to report. No. I think that was quite obviously the second we stepped in the, in the first place. Ah, maybe to the untrained eye. Oh my god. Truly are one of the stupidest people I have ever met. Yeah, well, I have an orb of teleportation. Does that make you smarter? <laughs> and I'd be amazed if you can actually figure out how to use it. Yeah, me too. I have an idea. Ooh. What's your intelligence level? <laughs> Zero. It's average. That's your modifier, Deo, not your actual intelligence. If you had an intelligence score of zero, you'd be dead. Well, I mean, yeah, okay, sorry. You'd be like that ogre that picked us up and walked us that time. <laughs> hey, that would be helpful. Well, you wouldn't be as big as him. I'm just saying you'd be as dumb. Oh, I love that guy. Even though it was a different world, different universe, and... Anyway, uh, so, can we hang out here for the night? Yes, fine, fine. I go, So wh awesome. what is, what is, uh, um, what is, uh, Merman's, uh, relationship to the leader of the city? He's just a hired... Um, they were, I think, best friends or something. Childhood friends. Yeah, yeah. Merman and Baron Hayes were friends, and he's, Merman Rusty. works for him now. I see. And, uh... So they they grew up together, okay. Yeah. Alright, so... I want to... start your magic with... Yeah, I want to go over and talk to... Hang out with that guy and ask him about the needs of the city... And um, what uh, what more are or yeah what they need and maybe what I my island nation can help them with. So hey, I'm well, like, I'm Merman, Merman pretty tells you like he doesn't care for politics. He doesn't know and anything that doing with treaties and stuff. You'd have to take up with the Baron. Um, so what, do, what is the town in need of right now? I mean, not politics, like treaties and stuff, but what are they working on? 
pretty much they're building the place still. The walls need to be finished, houses need to be built. A government needs to be established? Diplomat? Yeah. <laughs> no, the government's pretty much set with Baron Hayes there. Crap. And yeah. Captain, the town guard. Dictator, so, overthrow him! Yeah. Um, Let's not say so that from his best friend. So I'm thinking, he apparently knows how to use the teleportation orb. We need to uh, secure some kind of uh, supply ch supply chain for uh, building materials and stuff like this. Is what I'm thinking internally. It's like, all right, we need to uh, make some way to um, build the town. And me, being from the Crystal City, um, and you know, having a nice, pretty city. I think I can help with that, so I'm I'm just thinking to myself, hmm. Well, you guys were in the town. You know they have supplies and stuff. Yeah. They're just, they... mostly they're still constructing it. I mean, they get supplies and stuff from the capital city. Do they have awesome architects like, like from my town? I don't think so, because then they would be... <laughs> Super awesome, like my town. <laughs> All right, so that I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Of, I'm. I'm taking this in and thinking. Okay, maybe some some of this I can use for the when I go talk to the mayor and and. Um. So, what does Merman care about? What is his interest? What are his interests? You don't know. Yeah, so I want to talk to him about that. So, it's pumping so while, you for information. Yeah. So while Deo is, well, I'm, I don't hoping, know what I'm hoping I'm already if asleep guys, if he's already pumping him for information. So are we taking our long rest or what? Yeah. Okay, I'll start resetting stuff. But so we get what all our hit points back. Yep. You heal back up the health, full health. You get half of the hit dice you spent back. And you get all charges of spells and stuff. Round down? So basically, yeah, you get one hit die back. If you I, get, three. I get spells again. I get spells? Yep. If you have spells. Aww. Hey, you might want to take time to look at that sword if there's any more to it. You already did. Oh, I didn't know if there was more. Oh, we got all the information. Okay. I you know no one has the spell I need. So I have to figure out an unusual way. What spell so did we get XP for that? Don't be metagaming. They don't know. Oh, sorry. So for that... Um, Only you know right now. <laughs> oh. Did we get XP for that to that guy? Like that tower thing? I think uh, we did the... You guys got that already. Oh, okay. I'm at 2325. Does that sound right? I think you're a little behind. I think we're at 2458, but that's because you yeah. can't okay, right. But that's yeah, right. yeah, that's what I'm at. Okay. Um. So while uh, Deo and Arlie and all those guys are getting ready to, or getting sleepy, uh, I want to pump uh, Merlin for um, some information about uh, yeah, what what the town needs and stuff like that. So 